now it's out of the car. You can see size of it in relation to my car. Uh, again, this is a 12 by 12. It came in just one nice package and one match wrapped inside the other and uh, ready to go down in the basement. All right, so here it is, out of the plastic. All you gotta do, I suppose, is just take off the plastic and uh, roll her on out. So the way these are made, with the little curves in them, it's just gonna roll right out. And I think you can see, this is an inch and five eighths. I mean, that's pretty nice stuff. Right there is, uh, I've seen nothing bigger on the market. Um, really nice, real thick, heavy, sturdy stuff. Uh, Definitely have good impact resistance. Let's roll her out. So here it is, all rolled out. Now you can see it, it fills up the room. 12 by 12 is nice. Uh, a couple things to note. Um, a lot of home mats they sell are 10 by 10. This is 12 by 12. Doesn't sound like a lot till you do the math. It's almost, well, it's exactly 44% larger than the 10 by 10. And you got a five foot tall kid in the center of the mat, he's going off the edge of a 10 by 10. Uh, so this 12 by 12 is really nice. This is this is a way to go. Uh, I just need to tape that seam, and we're gonna have a home practice facility. A couple things, uh, I've never met Clayton McBride, except the five or six times I talked to him on the phone. He didn't ask me to do this, uh, but I think if you call McBride Mats and you, uh, you talk to Clayton, you're gonna find out he's a real honest man, makes these mats down in Lubbock, Texas, and uh, takes a lot of pride in what he does. And if you look around, look the market, do your homework like I did, you'll find uh, this is a real nice mat at a real good price, uh, good value. Go ahead and give Clayton a call and uh, put a wrestling mat in your house and uh, your son or daughter can train year round.